Hello guys, thanks for joining this session. In this session, we are going to discuss about matplotlib architecture. So let's jump into a diagram where we will start our discussion. So guys, the architecture of matplotlib is logically structured into three layers, which are placed at three different levels. And the communication between these three different levels is unidirectional. That means each layer can communicate with the underlying layer with the lower layer cannot communicate with the top ones. So see here, you will see that it is a unidirectional communication that is happening through top to bottom. So if you will look into this diagram, then you will find that the layer which we are having over here is a scripting artist and backend. So let's start discussion about each layer one by one. So we will start with the lowest layer that is called backend. So backend layer is the lowest layer of matplotlib architecture as it is a lowest layer. So that means it contains various APIs as well as classes that play the role of implementation of graphic elements at a lowest level. So basically backend layer contains three objects that is figure canvas, renderer and event. So these three object which is working at the backend layer so figure canvas is the object that embodies the concept of drawing area. So what it means? Let's look into the example. If you remember our first example where we have drawn some curve graph by generating some x, y point. On that time we have used this plot to draw the curve. And this is the graph which we have generated with the help of matplotlib. So here the figure canvas is providing this image drawing area. So the area which is defined over here that is basically being generated with the help of figure canvas. Now the second object which actually draw the graph on figure canvas that is a renderer object. And the last object which is the part of backend layer that is event object that actually takes care of user input. What input is user is providing on the basis of that input it draws the graph. So now let's proceed further. So this is about the backend layer which uses three objects. So now let's discuss about the another layer that is the artist layer. So to understand the significance of the artist layer, you have to understand this figure. So this is the figure. We are having three objects over here. The first one is the figure. The second one is the axis and the third one is the axis. So if you closely look into this image, you will find that this is the same image which we have earlier generated. And if, and if you are talking about the single axis, whether it is X axis or Y axis, so it is called as axis. Axis is one of the object and overall it is called axis and the complete thing is called figure. So all these elements which we have seen it over here, that is an instance of artist layer. So that means all of the things which you are seeing it over here like figure, axis, axis, all these are instance of the artist layer. There is another point which I wanted to discuss over here is that artist classes is two types. The first one is the primitive class and the another one is the composite class or you can say that primitive artist class or composite artist class. So you must be asking that what actually the primitive artist class and the composite artist class is. So the primitive artists are individual objects that constitute the basic element to form a graphical representation in a plot. So let's look into the example. So in this example, we have drawn a line in X, Y axis. So this line is an individual object. So this is nothing but a primitive artist class. Now, if you talk about the composite artist class, then it is nothing but a combination of all these primitive artist class is a composite artist class. Over here, we are having two axes. One is that X axis, another one is the Y axis. And overall, it is called axis and together it is composite artist class. So now let's proceed further. So in summary, we can say that artist class is responsible to draw the entire graph together with the help of different elements and these element is nothing but the instance of artist class. So now let's proceed further and discuss about the first layer that is the scripting layer. So the scripting layer provides the API to call the visualization modules like we have used earlier called pyplot. So let's look into that example again. So over here we have used this matplotlib.pyplot so this is nothing but a scripting layer which we are generally using to access the artist layer by providing the data points and this way it actually work together 
To form this graph where with the help of a scripting layer we are passing the input and that input is received by the artist layer and artist layer draw the object accordingly like x y axis line object and on the basis of these data points backend layer will draw the figure image or say figure canvas and on that canvas all these object is being drawn and at the end we are seeing this beautiful graph which is drawn on notebook over here so now let's proceed further so now we have discussed about various layers which actually defining the matplotlib architecture and this is what i wanted to discuss in this session see you in the next session till then bye bye take care